Hello again, this is Stan Roach, Chief Customer Officer, and welcome to demo video number two of the Agile Iron Suite. This demo is called How to Set Up Multiple Sales Channels. Maximizing revenue by exploiting every reasonable sales channel is a cornerstone strategy for our customers, and this strategy is enabled by the Agile Iron Suite. That is what this demo shows you how to do, and it will take nine minutes. I will start by going to the settings link in the upper right corner and then scrolling down to the channel section. On the screen that comes up you will notice a drop down menu showing the five different sales channels we currently support. There are several more coming this year because bringing our customers a constant flow of the latest new sales channels is one way we continuously add value. The first channel is the Agile Iron B2C web store. This is an e-commerce shopping cart for selling products to end consumers. The second channel is the Agile Iron B2B web store. This is a business-to-business e-commerce shopping cart, one that you would use to sell products to other businesses or intermediaries like dealers or retailers. This B2B web store has a slew of special features that are unique to B2B transactions like restricted access, sharing of stock level information, tiered pricing, minimum order quantities, purchasing with POs, etc. The third channel is the eBay channel. This offers integration with the eBay marketplace so you can make listings, respond to questions from buyers, and capture transactions from that marketplace. Marketplaces, like eBay, represent a whole new channel of revenue expansion for some customers. And beyond eBay, we have more major marketplaces coming soon, like Amazon, for example. The fourth channel is the Retail POS, or Point of Sale. It offers cloud-based Point of Sale software that can be used in multiple retail store outlets or on the road, at trade shows, or farmers markets. This channel not only works on desktops, or laptops, but also on tablets like the iPad, which is particularly handy for temporary portable environments. The fifth channel is called the Remote Web Store. It is used in those special situations where the Agile Iron customer must host a website remotely, i.e. a store that is not hosted by Agile Iron, because of unique requirements or because they have an existing web store that they do not want to migrate. In cases like this, this remote web store is used, and the Agile Iron API, that's the Application Programming Interface, is used to construct the bridge to the existing e-commerce store that sits external to Agile Iron. That enables the Agile Iron suite of back office and front office functions to support your remote web store as just another sales channel, while allowing these other sales channels like eBay, Retail POS, and additional web stores to be added as new channels and incremental revenue. Adding a new sales channel is as simple as selecting the type of channel you want from this drop-down menu and then clicking the New Channel button. It brings up a screen with a list of configuration options which you specify, which you specify and then that channel gets added. It's that simple. In this demo example, I have set up four different channels, one B2C web store, one B2B web store, an eBay integration, and a retail POS. If you sign up for a trial of Agile Iron, or if you sign up as a business partner, you will have received a demo instance or an account of the Agile Iron suite with a similar setup as this. Let's take a look at a couple of these channels to get a flavor of what the setup of a channel looks like. We will start with the Retail POS, or Point of Sale, which is the simplest of the channels. We will click the Edit command for this channel, which will bring up the Configuration screen. In this demo case, the Point of Sale outlet is a retail store in Oakland, California. The inventory location that will be used to support this retail outlet is shown here. The Tax Authority, shown here, automatically selects the tax rate that will apply for all orders at this retail outlet. The pricing that will apply is shown here. As an aside, price books in Agile Iron are similar to price levels in QuickBooks. Prices can be organized by customer, by location, by channel, by season. Whatever pricing model makes sense for your particular business, it's totally flexible. The number of checkout lanes at this store outlet are shown here. 
And lastly, the method for handling customer receipts. If you're at a retail outlet with a printer attached, then print is the right choice here. But if you're at a trade show or a farmer's market with an iPad, then email or none might be the choice you make. So the setup of the POS channel is now done. Pretty straightforward. And you can create as many of these as you like. One for each physical outlet or retail location you might have or different trade shows that you might want to attend. Next, I will look at the B2B web store channel. This is the e-commerce shopping cart for business-to-business -business sales. This is somewhat more involved than the retail outlet POS channel in terms of configuration and setup. Again, I will click the edit command for this channel. And just as before, this brings up the configuration screen for this B2B web store channel. You will find a lot of the configuration here is very similar to any admin panel you might find in shopping cart software. While there is a lot that can be done here, because it is a powerful and flexible shopping cart, the system starts off with standard and sensible default settings, already set up so you can get started easily and quickly, yet still come back and tweak things later to your heart's content. While you are setting up your store, and before you take it live, you simply use the temporary URL that Agile Iron initially gives you. When it comes time to take this web store live, you will route your internet domain to Agile Iron servers. The store name field here specifies the URL that will be used by your customers to find your e-commerce store. You select the inventory location and the price book that applies to this store. You select a design for the graphic layout of your store here. There are more than 70 designs to choose from. They range in pricing from free to about $300, and that is a one-time cost. The design selection you make can be changed at any time simply by selecting a different design theme here. There are a set of sub-tabs here that help define the store's parameters. I'll start with the payment sub-tab. Here you select the various payment options you will offer in the store and provide the necessary additional information for the respective payment methods. Agile Iron supports the popular payment gateways like Authorize.net and PayPal that then let you connect with merchant accounts. The Intuit merchant account is available through Authorize.net. In addition, in the case of B2B stores, we also support payment methods that are more common in a B2B context, like Offline Credit Card, which is used to capture credit card information in a PCI-compliant manner for later processing. This is useful, for example, in cases where you might take pre-orders and ship much later. Similarly, in the Shipping tab, you can specify the shipping method you want to offer, whether it is a price table or carrier-specific calculated pricing like USPS. You can also designate rates based on different geographic zones. Below this, you can select the tax zones for the store and map it to the tax authorities set up in Agile Iron. Next, let's look at some of the other customization capabilities for the web store. There are a set of standard pages already built in, but the content of these pages can be customized using our built-in HTML editor. Our editor provides a nice interactive way to work with content including images and other HTML constructs. Or you can easily import HTML content from other tools where you might have created them. If you would like to add additional content pages beyond the standard ones built in, you can easily create and add them under the Custom Pages sub-tab, and you can use the same HTML editor for content creation. The Server File Browser tab provides easy access to all the Web Store content collateral files. This includes all the images, style sheets, and PSD Photoshop files for the store template you selected earlier. Those files can be customized to whatever look and feel you want. You can also add additional files and directories on the server, just like you would with a remote FTP tool in a hosting environment. The Configuration tab provides all the web store controls you might want to customize the behavior of various aspects of the web store. These include, for example, setup for Google Analytics to track your web store traffic and conversion metrics as well as Google Base for submission of product pricing and images automatically every night to Google. Lastly, if we go to the B2B sub-tab, 
you can find B2B specific capabilities, including the management of restricted access, sharing of stock information, enforcing minimum orders at the order level or product level. Over the last several years, we have added a wide variety of special features for our B2B customers. I did not touch on some of the other shopping cart features like discount coupons and many of the customization features in detail in this video because this is a summary video. What I do hope you came away with is a better understanding of how we can enable you to maximize your revenue by easily, quickly, and flexibly accessing all the sales channels you want to be in in order to remain competitive. I also hope you have a keener appreciation for our commitment to continuously bring every possible new sales channel to our customers, whether it's a new marketplace like Amazon or new channels such as mobile commerce. This changing world is not slowing down and sales channels will continue to evolve and open up. And our job is to make the IT portion of that challenge as easy, fast, and painless for you as possible and enable you to get into and sell your products through all of them. Please take the short time to watch the last of the three most critical demo videos, number three, on how to select and push products into your multiple sales channels. It's the shortest one, only five minutes. After that, you are free to wander around the remaining video demos and pick whatever speaks to your particular needs.